Hey, what's up? I'm Mila J, and right now you're watching Music Exclusives TV. This is Terry here with Music Exclusives TV, Hi. and it's amazing to see you just torpedoing into what you're becoming. Who are some of your musical influences in, 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 in you being here today? Um, musical influence, growing up, definitely Prince, TLC, I love Janet. Those are the three that artists that I lo loved growing up. So. Um, you, you, you definitely are in the music business and eventually, if you aren't already, you're about to become like an amazing entrepreneur. What advice do you give to the younger men and women who are probably willing to follow your footsteps? Um, you know, just be in it because you have a passion for it because it is definitely a lot of hard work and you have to have the work ethic to go with the talent. Um, just keep yourself surrounded with positive people, you know what I mean? Now, keep you grounded, you know what I mean, all that good stuff. Congratulations to you and your sister. Thank you. To clear up everything, what, what exactly is the thing that didn't go right with the two of you um, for you not to be doing music together right now? Uh, on The Breakfast Club, um, Janae said that, that you have an approach with, um, as far as doing music. What is the reason Ooh, I for mean, that? we haven't worked together yet, but that's not to say that we won't. I mean, technically, we have two different musical styles, so I think when the time is right, we will work together. So is love yeah. between you and your sister? Of course. I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to be with you. This is Terry here with Music Exclusives TV. The first question I have for you is we've seen an amazing transformation from you from when you first started to where you are now from being a singer to now becoming a businessman. Uh, what are the, some of the things that inspired that and what are some of the things that you think the next generation can do to take it further than where you've taken it? Uh, you know, having to be involved in my business and, you know, my first album not taking off the way I would have loved it to uh, as an as a early artist, you know, uh, gave me the willpower and the wherewithal to have to make things happen for myself. When my label and I weren't on the same page, I wanted to learn more things. I wanted to I wanted to get uh, get all the information I could. And I think everybody should, should do the same thing. Another thing that I see, which is very mature and very gentleman-like of you and Neo, uh, just a few years ago there was some miscommunication, but now you guys are shaking it like gentlemen. What advice would you get to the younger generation that maybe do not handle things the way the two of you handle? Oh man, the thing is that, you know, as grown men, you know, you, you, you're not gonna always agree with one another but to think about it as grown men you going you, when you find a way to, to move past that yeah. in a way where as though you can help one another it, it's it's more beneficial it's more it's uh it, it's more powerful first question for you we're going to get to this but how important is collaboration in any business i think it's critical you never know where the best ideas can come from people have different perspectives neo is obviously a great artist a great performer i come more from the business commercial side working together we can all uh, accomplish so much more. I've done my research on you, it's very impressive to see where you started and where you are now. What would you say has been the biggest challenge that you face in getting to where you are? Biggest challenge? Yeah. I don't think there's been one big challenge. You haven't had any challenges you know, it's in like, your years? No, no, I, you have challenges every day. It's like the old saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Mm. So my whole career, my whole life has been one step at a time. Started out paying for college with student loans. Wow. First job on Wall Street, worked out my way up, started a company from scratch and have built it one deal at a time. Wow. To the new generations coming up, um, what do you see the future wave of advancements? Do you see it more towards technology, business, in the medical field? Where, where, where do you see the future going? I think really the uh, first and the last one you mentioned Technology and medical, mm. the developments are incredible. They're uh, growing at an, an exponential rate in terms of technology. Uh, business is business, always important. Needed to actually help medical and technology evolve. But the other two are really where things are going to be developing in an unusual way. It's a pleasure to definitely hear that. And the last question for you I, I would have is, how important is it to not create, or is it important to try to diminish the things that um, cause a hostile work environment? Oh, I think that's critically important. Uh, I was having drinks with a friend yesterday. She uh, works in finance. She was looking for a new job. Got offered a job on a trading floor, mm -hmm. and she said, "I don't want to work there. I, I just I don't want to be hassled. I don't want to be bothered." So we need the best out of everyone. Mm. Every man, woman, every person in the workforce who wants to contribute. We need the best out of them, and if different people can't pursue different careers for whatever reason, it takes away from all of society. Mm. Plus, it's also just not fair. Definitely. This is Mark Leader, and it's a pleasure to be here with Music Exclusive TV. How important it is, is it for different businesses to be aware of the changes happening, like, going forward in the next five, ten years? Well, it's central to our business, at least in our world, in health and wellness and delivering health care, how we do so. Given where Walgreens is, we're now uh, global because of our merger with Alliance Boots, which is going to be unfolding. What changes are you expected to see within the next year to two as far as diversity? 
A lot more access than there has been in years past. There's this collision coming between demography and diversity. More and more of the country is browning in different parts of the world as well. It's going to have a major effect on businesses, educational systems. We're going to have to be better about how we're providing access. Would you say that you see the, the younger generation, would you say that you see them taking more approaches to get into ownership and leadership roles with, um, the, as far as with retail or different chains of food? I do, provided that those of us in the roles that we're in provide those avenues of access, especially around entrepreneurship, because these young people are hungry. They just need us, who are a little bit, I won't say we're old, I'll say we're yeah. seasoned. We need to provide them more opportunities to understand how, whether it's the world of retail, technology, how it works, and then what their career pathway looks like. Definitely. And how important is it for you to be here to see a change happen with the youth of the future? Well, it's very important to me. Um, my mother it was someone who raised six children that she adopted from foster care. I have a daughter that I've adopted from the foster care system. My husband's mother adopted children from the foster care system as well. So I know the difference that it makes when you're involved in their lives and, and you just change their whole outlook when they just have love and support. So that's why I'm a part of Compound. I mean, if you have such a strong background and understanding of social services and foster care and things of that sort, what are some of the things that maybe the people listening can take advice on as far as ways to make uh, just anybody who has been a victim of something feel better and help grow through their uh, situations? Well, I think you have to understand that while somebody may be in the foster care system and in some ways to us may appear to be a victim or not have advantages that everybody else has, at the end of the day, whoever that person is that is their parent, regardless of their shortcomings, they still look up to that person as mom or dad. Mm. And you have to respect that relationship and not downgrade it or make it seem like it's less than, because to them, it's still everything, even though it might not be all that it should be. Mm. And and just giving them that understanding and letting them have that voice. But you see the next wave of leaders going? Social services, business, technology, and the medical field. Where do you see that big push coming in the future? It would be nice if it was social services, but... You don't see it happen? No, I think it's something that we just have to do on our own and kind of not expect careers to go there naturally. Yeah. I think if there's more volunteers and more people helping, it will help to make a difference. But there isn't real money there, so yeah. it's hard to see a push in careers shifting there. Mm. I mean, definitely, unless you're in like a CEO or management position. Right. So right. to the people out there who maybe could use some words of encouragement if they're going through something, they've been a victim of something, or they're just trying to get over a hump to get to where they want to get in whatever uh, aspect Find of life. Find someone to talk to. It always seems so much worse when it stays inside of your own head and you can't express it to someone. And I think it's just really important to find someone that you trust that you can talk to. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being here with you. Hi, I'm Lisa Price, founder of Carol's Daughter, and I'm thrilled to be here with Music Exclusives TV. What is the inspiration behind the Compound organization? Uh, well, we, um, we want to give children the opportunity to enhance their lives. The message is that, you know, your circumstances not necessarily dictate your future. And uh, we've always loved children. And so, therefore, these children are some of the most underserved. And we feel like those are the ones who need our help the most. Congratulations on recently, recently becoming a grandmother. When you see your grandchildren, what are you hoping to see different for them business-wise and as far as opportunities in the next 10, 15 years? Well, you know, children today are not like they used to be. My grandchildren are extremely intelligent already, right? They're very technologically savvy so far. And um, so I just think I see great and wonderful things for them because the education will continue. It starts early and we'll keep pushing it, so. Neo, it's a pleasure to be here with you this Absolutely. evening. First question for you is you were recently a father. Congratulations on that. How important is it for you to see things change in the next 15, 20 years as far as business opportunities, leadership, and entrepreneurship for your children? Uh, for my children? Yeah. Well, I, I got and, and and the next generation. Coming. Yeah, so I got a I got a little time before I got to worry about business opportunities for mine. They three and two, but uh, I definitely feel like it's very very important that everybody gets equal opportunity, you know, to succeed and grow and, and so on and so forth. Doing this great thing that you're doing, uh, taking away from your music to actually devote to helping the lives of others. Mm. Are there things that you think maybe 
more people in this generation could be doing music wise or just ent entertainment wise to inspire the next generation? Uh, well, I definitely feel like music is, is you know, one of those mediums that has the power to change the world if used the right way. So uh, with that being said, there's absolutely more that could be being done in the world of philanthropy as far as music is concerned. You know, there's a lot of talkers in the business, a lot of talkers, people saying that they're going to do something, you know, uh, talking and talking and all of that. But then when it comes down to it, Where's the work? You yeah. know what I mean. So I, I don't, we don't we don't deal with those people. We don't we don't associate with those people. Uh, we don't talk over here. We walk. We make it happen. So that's why we're here tonight, and uh, that's what we're going to continue doing until all the problems are solved. And this is the last question. Away from entertainment, if there's anybody 15 years old pursuing a dream, wanting to accomplish something as far as education or something that they they have to do, which would takes requires a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. what advice would you get to them? Um, just, I mean, just that. Understand that anything you do that's going to be worth it, you're going to work for it. Nothing is going to be handed to you. Nothing is going to be easy. And the surefire way to succeed is to keep going. The only way that you fail is if you stop. That's yeah. it. Thank you. This is Terry here with Music Exclusives. It's a pleasure, Neil. I love, brother. Neil, hi, Rob.